Hannah from the community team here at Miro. And today I'm sharing 10 simple tips to help you achieve a professional looking design in your next Miroverse template. If you didn't already know, Miroverse is a library of thousands of community templates made by and for Miro users. You don't need to be a designer to create an attractive and delightful template. However, a visually appealing board helps your template stand out, making it more likely to be adopted and used. So without further ado, let's jump in. Tip number one, design at 100% zoom. Design your template at 100% zoom and stick to default sizes for sticky notes, cards, and other elements. This maintains consistency and prevents distortion, creating a more polished final look. Tip number two, maintain consistency. Keep all formatting, font type, and color schemes consistent across your template. Creating this consistency builds cohesion and enhances the overall user experience. Tip number three, use colors strategically. Aside from aesthetic appeal, color can also be used as a tool to convey information. Opt for calmer tones for backgrounds and more vibrant ones to indicate editable elements. This helps construct information hierarchy and depth, making your template more intuitive and easy to use. Tip number four, utilize font sizes. Font sizes can help emphasize importance. For example, use larger fonts for crucial elements and smaller fonts for less significant ones, guiding users' attention effectively. Try starting at a 24-point font size for body text, sizing up and down to create titles and subtext. Tip number five, ensure consistent spacing. Maintain consistent spacing between elements for a visually appealing layout. Proper spacing creates balance and readability, enhancing the overall aesthetics. You can use the auto layout and align objects features in Miro to make this process faster and easier. Tip number six, incorporate icons, emojis, photos, or other graphical elements found in your Miro toolbar or add your own files. This adds interest and personality to your template. Plus, imagery can help convey information. As they say, pictures are worth a thousand words. Tip number seven, select high quality imagery. If you're using third-party imagery, opt for high quality stock photos to elevate your template's appeal. High grade visuals contribute to a professional and engaging design and can also help convey information. Tip number eight, remove ads and spam. Make sure your template remains free from advertisements, promotions, and spam. Keep affiliate links within the template description and provide proper credit for third-party content. If you'd like to add a promotion for your own business, keep it small and below the main content of the template to avoid any confusion. Tip number nine, capture a relevant template thumbnail. During the submission process, choose a fitting thumbnail for your template. This ensures a compelling first impression and helps users quickly grasp its purpose. Make sure your thumbnail isn't so zoomed in or zoomed out that you can't get a good idea of the content. And finally, tip number 10, create interactive elements. If applicable to your template's content, create interactive elements within Miro. Text, shapes, and images can be used to promote engagement and customization, enhancing the user experience. For inspiration, one great example of a vibrant and well-organized yet simple Miro board is Knee Trans Emoji Retrospective. Remember, a clean and well-organized design doesn't have to be dull. With these quick and easy design tips, you can elevate your next Miroverse template in no time. Don't forget to visit miro.com slash Miroverse to submit your template. That's all. Thanks for watching.